today we are going to install Flask in a virtual environment and so what we are going to do is to create a directory let's open my hard drive and age and let's create a new a new directory called flask flask valve so inside this directory we are going to um, create um, a virtual environment let's use for this um, the command line and let's go into the hard drive and to our uh, let's go into the directory change the directory into the flask when we just created and so we are here and now we want to uh, install with python uh, we want to install venv in a, a directory called let's say flask1 as you can see it's been created a directory here called flask1 now it's installing something when this will end we will go into okay we will go into the this folder flask1 and let's see what's inside of it there is this directory lib include and scripts let's go into scripts okay we got a lot of files here and one of these is called activate okay now let's run activate to activate the virtual environment and so you see now we get into parentheses flask1 it means we are in this virtual environment uh, where we can install things without going to um, uh, to modify to modify the the actual version of python on my computer so this is a brand new uh, installation it's, it's like a brand new environment where python is uh, at ES root the basic and here we are going to install flash but first let's go pip list to see what's inside our installation there is just pip and setup tools so we got nothing here and uh, except these two modules and the built-in modules of Python so it's brand new it's fresh and this is good for us because we want something uh, independent from the primary installation of Python now I'm, ju I'm just going to install this upgrade uh, as it it is advised me uh, as this advice here okay pip install upgrade zip so I'm updating my pip and after I have done this upgrading this is optional maybe you have the latest version and this is pip 10.0.1 you are going to pip install flask you see it is installing flask and some other modules some some other dependencies that flask will use so now let's see pip list again and you see that there is flask and other modules that are useful for flask so now we have installed a brand new fresh installation of flask into a virtual environment in this folder here 